Hello everybody, and I'm playing with LMMS again, making another sound effect. And this time, I am going to make like a creepy sounding air raid siren thing. Maybe a tornado siren, but it's going to be like a siren sound effect. And I'm just going to use the beat baseline editor, because it just seems like the easy way to do it. With the triple oscillator. And I'm just going to call this Siren. Sure. And right now it's not much. And I'm going to double click in the blank area above the drum tick tabs. Whatever you call those things. Double click it and you get a piano roll editor instead. And... Full measure. And right now it doesn't sound like anything special. And I'm not sure how to get rid of that pop when it loops. Try to get it close, but Let's see where is it? Sorry. Is it? There we go. And I'm just gonna drop this to channel one. Right now it doesn't sound like much of anything. So, just sounds like a plain organ sound. And I'm sure if there is a way. Yeah, you might not hear my mic when this thing records, because that's just the way Cam Studio is. And my sound card isn't the friendliest thing working with it, but I get a popping noise. I guess I could just turn the whole decay down. Yeah, I really want it to loop seamlessly. Can't really quite get that. Can't get a quite a continuous tone. I can try. Effects chain. Well, let's not mess with that yet. Go back into this. frequency oscillator controller and I get the speed I want is nice and slow not too slow and let's see. I think I want it like that. Let's see how it sounds Get the pitch shift. If I remember right, I believe I want that one to the controller. And connect that one to the controller. They could all go at the same frequency when I do it. Something like that. So now. Function we put on a chord and say minor B5. So <laughs> it's starting to sound like a siren already, right? <laughs> And then we just start adding effects. And that effects instrument channel. And let's see, I think 
course, like that. That's more than one. If you unlink the channels, which are for left and right, you can give the sound a little bit more depth and mess with the dials a little bit. Uh, I believe there's a pulse here. That pulse there, I think it's nice and round here. A sarin like sound. And the pitch shifter. Is that one of the ones I put in there? That's a super cool effect too. Okay, so now we put the pitch shifter on there. <laughs> and it kind of sounds kind of cool, right? It's already sounded like a air raid or a tornado siren. And then, uh, I want to say, is there a calf? It's a type of reverb. I want to say it's a calf one. And that makes it sound a little spooky. <laughs> like <laughs> but yeah, you got like the air raid or trio or whatever. It's like an alert siren. That's creepy, so. <laughs> Whatever you want to do with it in your music. Maybe use that with the helicopter sound. Go, ah, the aliens are attacking or something. I don't know. But yeah. Gives you an idea you can make sounds. If only I knew how to make it loop more cleanly. But I don't really know the trick behind it. So I always get that little pop there if there's a way to do it seamless. But triple oscillator doesn't seem to be able to do that, at least in any obvious way. And that's how you make sirens happen. Easy, lazy, not too complicated. That's how you do it.